to the garage. guys welcome back to boost works today it's a quick video on how I got this engine where it came from how I got it in the car because I've had a few people in the uh, private message me and saying how come you didn't video the engine swap and everything the reason for that is very simple one I didn't start YouTube before I started this project I started this project then I got in touch with a guy called Alex from M111 great guy he said to me start a youtube just do it um i'll leave a link to alex's uh channel here because he is very knowledgeable about these engines and if you need to know about these engines i'm sure there's some great videos on there what can help you out so what i did was i bought a cheap mercedes compressor off gumtree 250 pound yeah it was a great model i uh put an induction kit on to give it that uh, supercharged sound, that uh, whistle. And then I decided I needed to up the power a little bit, so I put a big crank pulley on, smaller supercharger pulley. It was hitting around 9 psi in boost. These are the mods I finally did to it and the power that I got from it. The acceleration was more than decent. I uh, decided to take a trip round Europe in the old bus. A uh, great touring car. Went to the Nürburgring. Uh, went down the Stelvio Pass through Switzerland. This is the route I took, exactly. So I carried on with the car for a year or so. Uh, I really loved the car to be honest with you. But I decided finally I wanted an older Mercedes. So it was time to pull the engine out. So I started pulling bits off everything that you see. Eventually I got round to ripping the engine out because it was an auto originally as well and I changed it to a 6 speed manual SLK gearbox and there you are, it's out Then I bought the 190E from eBay uh, Took it home with me, loved it straight away It was a great fantastic looking motor it was running and driving, I bought it, drove it all the way back from Gloucester. It's about four and a half hours. I did use the Mrs. Black uh, 190 Mercedes for around a year before I got round to uh, stand the swap. I uh, did a few bits of mods and nitrous, obviously. <laughs> Uh, but I needed a garage, so I started work on the engine straight away, made manifolds and bits and bobs. Started working on it, mounting the turbo, uh, took the supercharger to bits, I started rebuilding that. Give it a fresh lick of paint so it didn't look completely trampy. <laughs> made that little uh, pipe work so it all came together, hopefully putting some sort of vacuum control to control the supercharger and turbo together at some point. I've got these uh, brackets made up so I can fit the M102 powered steering pump. Ah, and here's where we got the garage. So I took it to the garage, that was the first day there. I'm ready to start work on it. Well, this is the last time you're going to hear this M102 running 
because uh, it's going for its engine swap. But this is for sale, as you can see. It uh, runs sweet as a nut. Lovely. Quick breath. So, there's about 10 year old engine come out, get that ripped out. That was pretty simple take out. Uh, got the engine sold and the gearbox. Got some parts, so I've got backside intercooler, a clutch kit and single mass flywheel from Diesel Pump UK that went in there um, then it's time to drop the engine in I finally got the engine in there's a lot of uh, wiggling and scuff knuckles to get it in I had to make a custom gearbox mount to uh, fit the SLK gearbox which was basically chopping the 190 mount and the SLK mount and welding them together Starting to come together real good. I uh, started making me intake manifolds, and you guys know the story from here because I've been filming since. So that's how it came to be. Right. So now you know about the engine. What I'm going to do today is fit this lovely little mount that I got made by Go Garage. Again, I'll leave the uh, link in the description. Go Garage he, from a friend of mine called Jimmy, great guy, he sent me this, this is to mount a Mac Boost controller and it fits directly onto the engine, we've just got to tap a few holes. I've tapped this top hole and as you can see a bolt screws straight in which is great so that should be quite easy I just need to tap the bottom one as well I won't bother showing you that because you don't need to waste your 10 seconds of your life watching that I'll just tap it out and show you when it's mounted and there we go mounted you see if you are looking for one of them, go hit up Go Garage. They are custom made, 3D printed, handy bit of kit, very smart, very tidy, hidden away. Get your boost controller under there, perfect. Right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. The Mac Boost controller's fitted. You all now know how the engine got there, where the engine come from. Great little story. I'm going to go enjoy the sunshine while it's here we don't get much summer in Britain. Take care guys, keep boosting.